Yes, so I'm on the new version of the TTI um, TCB550. This is the N version. So you're going to set off from here at the workshop and you're going to go to North Rawsby and then we'll swap the radios over. Now, was that true or was that said in irony? Oh, no, it did. It flashed me out, which is unusual. And then what we're going to do is to test the early version. This is the very latest version. And then we're going to test the early version. And it's a bottom of the range radio, which sells for about 49 99 Right, Roger on that. So this is one of these multi um, EU sets. On a volume and squelch, up and down, solely on the radio. Is it top whack today? It does have scan facility, channel 919, preset squelch, I'm not going to call it auto squelch because I haven't looked at the circuit diagram to see how it works, but a lot of these are preset, they're not true auto. It's got a lock position for the keypad on the front. And it's got a secondary menu by switching on and holding the scan, uh, the AMFM scan button in, and there's scan delay and scan resume up and down beep you can turn off and uh, time out time so there's a lip uh, Roger on Ancaster Crossroads the time out timer will limit your transmission say to 90 seconds and that's programmable so it's a nice little feature we're using this on its, ex on its internal speaker so you can hear the actual radio I know this is only on a camcorder um, rather than using one of the extension speakers. Roger on that, got you at the quarry. So he's gone to the top of a hill, then he's going to go down the other side of the hill into the village of Willsford. And it's so poor for radio at the wrong side of this hill that even entertainment radio on your car drops out. And then he'll go onto the flat for about another four miles, so he's a total of six and a half to seven miles away from us uh, at South Rawsby. Roger on that, got you there. It's quite a bit of noise out there today. This is one of those sets without an S meter, if I remember rightly. Yes, it does. Um, but I would suggest there's S5 of background noise. Roger and that, I've got you at the bottom of the hill at Willsford, I assume. Give me a call when you get to the level crossing. The label here says this is for 12 or 24 volt without adjustment. So that's. Uh, I never tested that on the bench to see whether that was true. Yeah, Tango 21 at the Willsford level crossing. It's a bit scratchy um, today. I, don't, if, I presume your aerial's on properly. Roger on the Kelby level crossing, yep. Yeah. 
I notice the quality of the microphone plug isn't a high quality one like the previous model, though it's got a bit of a rubber boot on it, a strain relief. Well, Tango 21, I don't know how you read me, but uh, you're very scratchy from that location. So if you can just stay there, uh, and um, I presume you're square wheeled, and I'll swap the radios over. Well, that was barely readable, so not what I normally expect from that location. So we'll see how the other one performs, and... Uh, Let's have a look.